are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. Founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, one of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. Our kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Best in the business, Herb right. Dean is our referee tonight. Right. Well, so much UFC history has taken place here in Abu Dhabi, and plenty more where that came from tonight as we return to the Eddie Hot Arena. This place is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the Superdome a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I mean, outside of the colors of the Superdome, it is not up to oh, power strong there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. The dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh! Oh! With authority, the body. Oh, inside kick. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, high kick lands flush. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Good block. Back and forth we go. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Just missed with that right hand. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. We cross the midpoint in round one. Another nasty punch lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Nice. 
Just over two minutes to go. Oh, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Oh, he's in real trouble now. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Big head kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. There's the kick, it's blocked. Spots. One minute to go here in the opening round. Oh, nice. Man, he really does a nice job getting his foot off the canvas to the target, continuing to cause damage to that upper leg. He does a great job, man. He sets it up. It's not like he's throwing him blind either, John. He throws a jab in front of it. He throws a right hand in front of him. He always tries to hide what his true intentions are. And right now, his intentions are to beat up that guy. And to this point, he has done that. 15 seconds remain in the round. sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, couldn't get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. Big, straight left. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Body kick lands. kick there by Lee. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Shot there is blocked. Just over three minutes to go in round two.
looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his moves. Oh. Nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Big power shot there. Oh, misses with the jab. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, good block there. All right, well, that blow is busseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson ring. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's horrible. So he, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Now you're really starting to see the damage on that thigh. Maybe check a kick, protect that leg a little bit. He's got to check a kick in return. You've got to make him pay for doing his leg kicks. They can't be free. You can't just get your leg beat up. Right now we're starting to see how much damage he's inflicting on his opponent. Nice head kick. Another massive head kick land. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we were... Oh, a perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Huh. I mean, how about oh, those last oh, oh. five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Lee's right strike attempt there is blocked. Back to the jab now, no good. Trying to establish that jab once again. Let them go now. All 
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Two minutes have gone by. Lee's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that old man. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. There's that left hand. Oh my goodness! Let's go! Oh, big head kick there! So we have passed the midway point in the fight. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Missed with that right hand. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet. Head kick to boot. You cannot sit in this position. the closed guard and he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission all working hard to get back up again and he's there all right so an opportunity goes by the boards he had him stunned nearly finished and now his opponent has recovered his opponent recovered this could be the beginning of the I game. mean this looks like it's about to be over he has taken way too many of these leg kicks Nice job by him to get the need of the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Well, I always marvel at the physical toughness of you and our entire roster, but dude, that fight is in rough shape. Yeah, at some point, it doesn't matter how tough you are. When you have taken that many shots, it starts to dead leg you. You'll start to have trouble walking and moving around the octagon, and then you become a stationary target. Nice combination lands to the head. Lee's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Man, that cut. 
hunt has really opened up. Effective jab there by Lee. Strong straight left there. we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters up right. Oh, oh he's got him hurt badly now. He's cut. Big right hand. Oh! Oh, that's big. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, 